guys, welcome back. This is Dave Langer coming to you from Nazare via satellite, via live feed, uh, via Wi-Fi, I'm not sure, one of the three, all the three, um, as promised, coming to you live. This is more of a wave check, surf check than anything else. I uh, wanted to make good on, on that promise to come to you guys live every day. Um, that's, the, that's the emphasis behind what we're doing here. We want to we want to make this happen more often. We want to make sure that you guys know we're coming to you live every day to give you the wave check, to, to talk to you about what might happen the rest of the day. A lot of times the waves aren't necessarily uh, worth surfing uh, early in the morning. Right now it's about 10.15, not so early. Uh, we'll be down here at 7.30, 7.45 on the regular for that first wave check. And, and like I said, we'll go from there. So again, I just wanted to uh, tell you a little about what we're doing while we check the waves here and again make good on on coming to you live every morning so as we uh, as we wait for for whatever events take place this year besides what we're doing uh, we're, we're calling it kind of a yellow alert and and when stuff goes green we'll, we'll definitely be covering that as well and and when we're on yellow alert that's when actually a lot of the good stuff happens so we're gonna be covering the yellow alert days and um, and bringing you everything that happens here. So, what else can I tell you while we're live here? Uh, I wanted to tell you a bit about this fort. This fort was built in 1550. It's um, just to be standing near a building, much less in a building that was built in 1550, is is not something we're used to in the states. Um, I guess it's kind of commonplace here in Europe, but. When I first got here to Nazareth, I was blown away by the fact that that I was standing inside of a building on the very dirt that, that the people who, who built the thing stood on. And um, people who built the thing were obviously the Portuguese. Uh, that was in 1550, like I said. In 1750, around, um, there, was a, there was a takeover by the French. The, um, the troops of Napoleon had taken over the fort. And the main troops from Napoleon were down in Lisbon. Uh, when the people of the sitio were, were dealing with it the best they could and assimilation started to happen where the French men were dating the, French, the, the, um, the women here from the sitio, actually the, the legend goes that the women of the sitio were the first to start rebelling against this assimilation and, and takeover and they started... Um, throwing the guys off this very cliff when they would be hanging out on the edge of it with them. So once that kind of thing started happening and the people of the sitio decided enough with the, with the French Revolution here, we're, not, we're gonna take our fort back, they did just that. They came down here, took this fort back, and uh, in doing so, made it, made it uh, inevitable that the troops from Lisbon would come up and, and try to take it back. Uh, when they did come up, they were met at the river of Alcabasa over here and, and um, shut down by the people of the Sitio, the people of the Padanera, which is another uh, kind of mountain hilltop over here, and then the people of the um, Serra de Pescaria, which is the mountain of the, of the fish, basically. It's, it's above the marina. So where the river comes out to the marina is, is where they met the troops, all three groups of, of um, Portuguese defenders of, of the land. And, and that's, I th I'm pretty sure, what turned the tide with Napoleon thinking he could take over the world. It, it started here in Portugal. He thought he would take it. He wasn't able to right here at the Sitio. And within time, he turned around and went back to France, which, uh, which for the sake of Portugal, is just one of the many, the many um, times that, that they were able to fight off uh, people that went to take them over. First, it was the Vikings and the Moors and and then the, uh, the English, um, 
the French, the Spanish, pretty much everybody tried to take Portugal. And through actions like that, in places like this, they were able to fend them off. Uh, you'll see as you, as you drive up and down the coast of Portugal that, that the coast is riddled with these kinds of forts. So basically any point that uh, people thought they were going to invade the coast of Portugal, they were going to be met by, by a fort like this and, and people like that, and it wasn't going to be so easy. So, yeah, that's, that's a bit of history for you this morning on, on the fort here. Uh, I'd like to give you a little piece uh, on the daily, so I'll save, I'll save the other stuff for later and, um, and let you check the waves for a couple more minutes. We're going to be doing a wave of the week, and uh, this is the first day. Uh, it's it's a Saturday. It's looking like there won't be any surfing today. Um, it's just it's a direct west swell. The way it's it comes in straight and doesn't bank off the canyon and reverberate back at itself, because the waves come from the northwest. They hit the canyon and then start heading back north um, and northeast or whatever. And so when they do that, they they merge with each other and give us what we have here. This, this wedge that takes 40 foot faces and blends them and makes an 80 foot face. So that kind of thing uh, doesn't happen on a west swell when it's this direct, right down the alley, so to speak. And um, it's turning tomorrow and it's gonna, it's gonna do its thing tomorrow. So we'll definitely be out there tomorrow, even if it's windy. Um, today, probably not so much, more of a preparation day for tomorrow. And um, what else can I say? Uh, if it does turn on today, we'll be with you. And that's, and that's the emphasis of what we're doing. You know, just here, check the waves with us, do what we do, and get ready for us to actually turn the, turn the go button and, and actually go as soon as it gets worth training for tomorrow or whatever. But again, when we have these big days, these big swells coming, and a day like this right before it, we tend to use that day to, to just get our, our equipment ready and, and ourselves and rest and prepare. So uh, as far as the wave of the week goes, it's going to start tomorrow, most likely, uh, as far as the action goes. And by next Saturday, we will have come up with uh, four finalists, and we'll have you guys voting online to, to let us know what you think. So Sunday, we can tell you who won. And that's pretty much what's, what's going on here. Uh, Urip and, um, and many other organizations are looking to democratize the, the sport of surfing at this point, let the... Let the the viewers or the athletes vote or a culmination thereof, a combination thereof for that matter. And um, that's, that's the trip. So enjoy the wave check and uh, we'll be back shortly. We'll keep you informed. All right.